Hey guys, Sandy here, and welcome to another video for Stamping for Scrapbookers. Now, every month on the last Thursday of the month, um, Christina, Sarah, Caitlin, and myself have a little series for you guys where we pick one theme of stamps and we use them in our scrapbooking layouts. So this month's theme is words. So I pulled some stamps that I have. Um, I have this Gina K. One, I have a couple close to my heart, and I also have a dark room door rubber stamp. And they all kind of have like friend kind of feelings to them. Um, because I am going to scrapbook this photo of the group that went to Creativation this year. So I'm super excited to be working with this. Let's see what I can do. Now I am using some Vicki Booten mixed media paper. And I just used my water bottle and really just sprayed the water so that I could get these uh, watercolor uh, kind of brush pens to spread a little bit. So I'm just kind of squeezing it out. Now my original thought was to go from small to big color and then go back down to small. But I kind of forgot what I was doing in the process and just kept going big. Um, so we fix that. It's okay. Uh, by the time I get to green, my paper has dried out a little bit, so I go ahead and add a little bit more water and then a little bit more green. And then as you can see how um, small the blue section is compared to the green section. So I add a little bit more water all over, uh, and then I just add a little bit more color through each one as well. And I'm not really concerned um, if my marker, my watercolor markers are touching uh, different colors. They kind of blend together really great. Um, I did help it dry with my heat tool and it did warp my paper, um, but I'm okay with that. The photos definitely show warped paper. Um, I did not do what I normally do uh, when I have layouts like that and put them under something flat. Um, before I took pictures, I, I just didn't do it, you guys. So it is definitely warped. Now I'm taking this darkroom door rubber stamp. And if you haven't had the privilege of stamping with darkroom door rubber stamps, you are truly missing out on something. Their rubber is such super high quality that it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I used my anti-static powder tool just over where I plan on stamping. I used some WOW uh, embossing ink. I also used Versamark, uh, but I received this when I took a class at Creativation and I like it and it's working great. So like it's time to do it. So I stamp this down and then I'm using some Brutus Monroe Mermaid Tail Embossing Powder uh, to go over top of it. And you guys, like seriously, the best quality embossing powder I've ever come across is Brutus Monroe. And I am actually replacing all of my regular embossing powders, like, you know, the cheap stuff, recollections, all that kind of stuff. Um, and even some of my zings that I still have with Brutus Monroe colors because I am just super impressed with the quality of them. So I'm using my heat tool um, to just emboss that up. And it's just got a lot of friendship words on that stamp. Now I am going to bring in my photo, and this is, like I said, a group of us from Creativation, so I forget the order that we're in. When I get finished playing with this tool, I'll tell you who we are. So I had this idea to use some tool um, instead of tissue paper. So a lot of people like using tissue paper on uh, as photo mats, and I like using tool. And I thought I had this great idea to use two pieces of fun foam together and place it on and hold it. And I think if I would have put both pieces of fun foam sticky side to each other, like it would have held and then I could have glued down um, the, the unfun part of the fun foam with just my adhesive. Um, but ultimately I'm like, yeah, I can do this. So I hold it down where it's gonna go and I'm thinking I'll just staple it. But my stapler didn't reach. I really need to get a long arm stapler. Like I would love a long arm stapler. I need to start researching that. So I just decide to hold my tool in place, grab my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive, and add a whole bunch of adhesive onto the back of this 
uh, fun foam and then I'm going to um, flop it down there. So the photo goes, if I would get my big fat hand off of it, and then um, I had to trim off some of the excess, um, which is fine. Like I don't have a problem with what I did. I wasn't looking for like perfection with the tool or anything like that. So I like it the way it goes. Okay, one day eventually I'll be able to tell you who's in the photo. So it goes, um, Sharon, me, Christina, Amber, Crystal, and Amy. So we had a blast at Creativation. And now at this point, I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't want to stamp anymore. I like the words that I have, but you know, I need to add a couple little stamping words. So I'm thinking, all right, I will like sling some around. Now, my original plan was to stamp the words and emboss in its coordinating color. But I decided that the background needed a little bit of black. So instead of stamping and embossing in its coordinating color like I did in the blue, I'm going to stamp with some black. Now, in case you don't see it, the reason why I colored in the order that I did um, was to match the Creativation logo. So I definitely did that on purpose. Um, I am trying to combat the warpiness of my paper um, by putting it on a full sheet of this black cardstock in the back. Now, I did not trim down the sides to give it a border, like a full 12 by 12 border, because I didn't want to cut down any of my watercolor that I did. I grabbed a thin little washi tape that is um, white and gold diagonal stripe and lay it over just to, just to give that that cut edge a little bit more of a finished look. So I am super excited about how that looks. Like I just, I love it. It is the only place that I end up with gold on the layout, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay that I don't have um, gold all over the place. Um, I thought about adding sequins, but I went with enamel dots instead. Um, I had some gold sequins that I could have brought more gold in, uh, but I decided not to go that way. So here I have some jelly bean soup die cuts and I'm just trying to figure out where they're going to go on the layout um, because I don't so stamping for scrapbookers right like scrapbookers basically love stamps some of us don't but most of us do and a lot of the times they just sit and we don't use them on our layouts well when I'm thinking stamping for scrapbookers, I'm not thinking that everything on my page has to be stamps. I'm thinking I want to incorporate stamps into my regular scrapbooking. Um, and I've done that with mixed media because I used to keep my art journaling mixed media stuff and my scrapbook pages very separate. And I think I've even like said in on camera or on YouTube, like, no, 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 that's separate, but I've brought them together. So that's what I'm trying to do um, while we are doing this series is to just bring in my stamps a little bit more into my regular scrapbooking. Not that I'm like taking over my scrapbooking with stamps, but I'm just, you know, bringing them in. So that's, that is why I'm still using other things to embellish. Um, I could have totally just used stamps and created my own embellishments and done all that stuff, but honestly, that's not going to give me the most joy in my scrapbooking. And for me, um, scrapbooking is all about like the joy that it brings me. Um, of course, there's the memory aspect and all that kind of stuff. But if I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't do it. You know, memories be damned. Do you know what I mean? So I just find some hearts and one little like pinwheel thing. And I just put them over the coordinating colors. And I'm thinking that this is going to be cute. I like what I like what's going on here. Um, I decided to go ahead and use that smile die cut. And that seems kind of weird because if your theme is words, you would think that you would be able to stamp your title with words. But nope, got to be a rebel, got to do what I want. And um, that's just the way it is. It's funny because at work the other day, somebody had asked me a question and I just looked at them and they were like, what, what? And I said, I'm Sandy. And they were like, yeah. And I said, I do what I want. <laughs> so 
and it was in like a joking, fun kind of manner. And there are some um, team members like I couldn't say that to in that kind of way um, because that's not their kind of sense of humor. Um, but the team member that I said it to, we, we totally have that kind of like fun relationship. So that was, um, that was just a lot of fun. So I am using a <laughs> two by two square from Paige Evans to dip into my clear embossing powder. And I thought that the clear embossing powder would, would work enough on the watercolor that I wouldn't have to that you would see it, you would see the sentiment that's there, but you wouldn't really, it wouldn't be like screaming in your face, radiate positivity, like it wouldn't be doing that. And you really can't see it whatsoever. Um, so I went ahead and re-stamped it, and I am using a stamping block. Um, you can use a stamp positioner. So I only have the regular size uh, Misty. So I don't have the memory sized one and it is a big mamba jamba um, and Misty has recently reworked their stamping platform so it's like it's new and improved and um, once the new and improved comes to the 12 by 12 Misty that bad boy will be coming and living with me. <laughs> um, so yeah in the meantime though if you're really careful you can do it with a stamp block. So what I did was re-stamped it and then just used a little bit of like a holographic kind of clear embossing powder over it just so you can see it a little bit better. It really doesn't come up that great on camera, uh, but in person you can see it. So now I'm just going to add adhesive to my little die cuts that I'm adding to the page. And I thought about popping some of them up, but ultimately I don't do that either. The only thing that is really popped up on this page is the photo, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, so now I'm just putting these guys on their coordinating colors, and I'm liking the way that this looks. And I probably would have left this page as it is. Um, I would have added enamel dots or sequins, uh, but I felt like I needed to stamp just a little bit more. Um, just a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but a little bit more. So I decided to go with the Gina K Amalgam Ink in block, in block, in black. I don't know. I'm starting to pick up some sort of accent in, in block. You want your amalgam ink in the block color. So no, not that at all. Um, you want it in the black color, or at least I did. So I went ahead and stamped the hello uh, friend, and then I'm stamping some of these little hearts. And this acrylic block is like a long rectangle acrylic block, and it's, it's really my favorite one. And you know, every time my head pops up, I look like I've got a bald spot on the top of my head. And I'm just like, Maybe you should like finish drying your hair and not just walk out of the bathroom with wet head in the morning um, because then it doesn't look like I have a bald spot if I've dried my hair properly. But anyway, um, if anybody's concerned about that, don't be, it's all good. Um, so I'm using the Amalgam Ink. I put those hearts down. Um, I did just snip apart that um, acrylic stamp, you guys. Like I don't, I don't care. Like if I snip them apart and put them back together, like it's, it's fine. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. So I just blocked off that friend and kind of built a little cluster right here uh, with the yellow hearts. And now I've got like the black throughout the layout. It's not just on the bottom. It's not just on the cardstock. Like I've got, I've got the black going. I decided that I was going to do something that I normally don't do and that is have an even amount of enamel dots in my clusters. So normally I, I have an odd amount, um, but I have one white enamel dot on each of the little black hearts that I stamped, and then I have three black enamel dots in the little cluster. And you know, I even have four clusters, so I have an even amount of clusters. Um, but that's okay. Like, I think it works um, on this layout. Um, and I like it. Like, ultimately, I'm happy with the layout. The only thing I still have to do is do a little bit of journaling. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to journal directly on this layout or if I want to add, 
like an insert of journaling or if this page isn't going to have journaling on it whatsoever and it's just going to be journaling through the other pages. So we'll figure that out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and make sure you click on the links down below for everyone um, who is doing stamping for scrapbookers. I will see you guys again really soon for another video.